Hey everyone and welcome to my channel Cakes by MK. So here in New Zealand we're in the lockdown period and during this period I was supposed to make a wedding cake and I absolutely love making wedding cakes. I was pretty disappointed when I had to cancel that booking but I decided that I'm going to cheer myself up and I'm going to make a wedding cake anyway. But it's only me and my husband at home so I'd have an irresponsible amount of cake lying around if I made a normal sized wedding cake. So instead I'm going to challenge myself to make a teeny tiny wedding cake so let's see how that goes. But yeah, if you guys are new to my channel, then please click the subscribe button below and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you're updated whenever I upload a new video. But apart from that, stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So the first step is to get all our cake layers so that we can use them to layer and build our wedding cake. Now I kind of thought this all through in my head but I haven't tried it out so I'm just hoping that it all works out. But basically what my plan is, is I've got a small 6 inch cake here and I'm hoping that's going to be enough for this teeny tiny wedding cake. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to level out the top and then I'm going to cut the entire cake in half through the middle. So then I've kind of got two small cakes which I can work with to then make my you know smaller cake layers with. Um, and then I also don't have any kind of cool round molds lying around but I did manage to find these um, measuring cups which are made out of metal so they're quite sharp around the edge so I'm hoping that that's going to act as a good kind of mold that I can use to cut out round cake layers. Um, so what I'm planning is this is going to be the size for the bottom tier. Then the second tier will be this size, but then I really wanted to make a three tier cake, but I couldn't find anything that was kind of small enough to then cut out a round circle that was going to be like smaller than this. So then what I thought is um, for that part, I'm just going to use a small knife to cut out the round layers for the top tier. So I don't know, sounds like it's going to work out in my head, but let's just try it out and see how it goes. So this is a vanilla cake recipe that I'm using and I've got the full recipe to that on my blog which I'll post a link to below. Now to cut the middle of the cake, I'm going to use a cake leveler for that because I want to make sure that it comes out really really straight. All right, so we should have two really nice flat cake layers. Yep, there we go. All right, so I've got two nice cake layers which I can work with now. And first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the little cake layers for the bottom tier of the cake. And I'm gonna use the big measuring cup for that. All right, so I've got a really nice circle, but it's stuck, so I'm hoping that it's gonna come out. Yay! Okay, cool. We've got our first um, layer for our bottom tier. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the second one. It's looking really cool. Now for our middle layer. So I'm on to the final tier now. I'm trying to figure out the best way to cut out these little circles. So I was just going to use um, this little knife and kind of cut out the little circles myself, but then I need to kind of measure it against the second tier to make sure that the top tier isn't too small or too big. So I thought what I'd do instead is I'm going to cut out two more of these and then from that I will then cut around it to make it a little bit smaller for our top tier and I'm hoping that's going to be the best way. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try it out. So I've managed to cut out a small little layer there, so I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, cool. So that actually worked out pretty well. I'm pretty impressed with how they came out. Um, so yeah, so I've got the two layers for each tier. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean this up and then I'm gonna get some icing and we're gonna start icing these cakes. So I'm all cleaned up now and I'm ready to do the crumb coat on each of our three tiers. So for our crumb coat today, I'm using a vanilla Swiss meringue buttercream and I do have a video tutorial on how to make this buttercream and I'll post a link to that below. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead now and do each of the three tiers separately. So for those of you who aren't sure what a crumb coat actually is, it's basically your first layer of icing that you put onto your cakes to trap in all the crumbs and then you put that into the fridge to harden up and then you do your final layer of icing on top of that so that you have no crumbs on the outer layer. So this top tier is so small that it's just moving around everywhere, so I have to use my fingers to keep it in place. Okay, so the small tier was pretty hard to handle, um, but I'm hoping that once we put it into the fridge and the icing hardens up a bit, then it'll be a lot easier to handle after that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these into the fridge now. So a normal size cake, you'd normally leave in the fridge to harden up for maybe about an hour or so, but these are pretty small, so I'm thinking they're only gonna take about, take about maybe like 20 minutes. So yeah, so I'm gonna pop them into the fridge now and then we'll be back to do our final layer of icing on top. So our icing's all firmed up now, and now I'm gonna go ahead and do the final layer of icing on all our three cake tiers. This cake is so tiny that it keeps moving around, so I've just got a non-slip mat to put on the bottom. So these are actually really hard to smooth out on the edges and I'm finding that it's actually easier to just use my palette knife as opposed to my cake scraper so I'm just going to keep doing that and hopefully I get some really nice smooth sides. Alright so I've smoothed out all the sides now, that was way trickier than I thought it was going to be. Um, you kind of think it's going to be really easy because they're small, but um, I think because they're so small, it's actually way harder. So yeah, I think I did an all right job. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them into the fridge again for about another 20 minutes for the icing to harden. And then we're going to come back and stack our cake. So our cakes are out of the fridge now. The buttercream is really nice and firm. So we're going to go ahead now and start stacking our tiered cake. Now, normally when you stack a tiered cake, you'd put in dowels to act as like a support system to make sure that the cake doesn't crush or fall apart. But in this cake, the tiers are so small that I'm just going to go ahead and stack them directly on top of one another. All right, so I've got the tears on. It's looking really cute. I'm actually really loving how it's turning out, um, but I do need to go and fill buttercream around the edges and just kind of straighten it out a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so I've cleaned up the cake. It's looking really cute. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it into the fridge now for another 10 minutes for the extra icing that I just put around it to harden up. And then we'll be back to decorate it. 
So our little mini wedding cake is out of the fridge now. It's looking really, really cool. And now the last step is just to do a little bit of decorating. So today I decided to keep it simple and I'm just gonna put some gold leaf on it and then it's done. Okay, so I've put the gold leaf on it. It's looking really, really nice, but I think it is missing a little something. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put some large sprinkles around it. All right, and there it is. Our cute little mini wedding cake is done. So I've just cut through the cake and as you can see the layers have come out super super nice. I wasn't quite sure whether you'd be able to see the layers like that because it was such a small cake and it was really hard to ice but I'm super happy with how it's come out. So yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how I made this tiny wedding cake. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this and thanks again for watching Cakes by MK.